Hello and welcome to this video. This is another video in the series of plastic materials. Today we're going to be looking at plastic impact testing. A lot of products are made from plastic and need to withstand drops and other impacts without the plastic failing. One method to check how a plastic will react to these potential issues is to carry out an impact test. Now the Isod pendulum test is the most common type of impact test for plastics and the process is as follows. One, use at least five notched test samples. Two, set the test piece in the holder. Three, raise the pendulum to the start position. Four, release the pendulum and five, record the result from the meter. This methodology records the amount of energy required to break a test piece. We can see on the right hand side here clearly the setup with the pendulum striker on the right here. It's got the momentum as it was released and it strikes the test piece with a notch facing the pendulum. The test piece is clearly clamped in the holder so it's not going to move during the test. A test specimen having a V-shaped notch is fixed vertically and the specimen is broken by striking it from the same side as that of the notch by using the hammer. The Isod impact value is calculated by dividing the fracture energy by the width of the specimen. Now the dimensions of a standard specimen are 63.5 millimeters by 12.7 millimeters by 3.2 millimeters or an imperial that is two and a half inches by half an inch by one eighth. You can see an example of the drawing down below with all of the dimensions shown. On the top right hand side here in this image we are seeing the specimen just about to be struck by the hammer. Here are a few more images of the test equipment itself. We can see the gauge here being set at the top and the result of an impact test at the bottom. Now please bear in mind that the temperature during the test should be at ambient temperature and should always be recorded with the test results. And this is simply because temperature does play a huge impact on plastics. You can see from the diagram here, this chart clearly shows brittle fracture at lower temperatures and a ductile fracture at a higher temperature for the same material. Here is a table with some common polymers listed along with their impact strength minimum and maximum values. I'm not going to read through all of these, you can go through this in your leisure, but I'm just going to highlight some of the more common polymers like ABS. At the top we have a minimum value of 200 and a maximum value of 215. Another common polymer is nylon or PA6. That has a minimum value of 50 and a maximum of 160. Another common polymer down the bottom here is PVC. That has a minimum of 20 and a maximum of 110. So don't forget to check out our other videos in this series of plastics or polymers. And don't forget to have a look at some of the other videos on that channel. You can always contact us if you have any problems or you need any help with your projects in China. And for your convenience, there's a link just below here. It would be a good idea if you could like this video. It would be excellent if you could share the video. And it would be awesome if you could subscribe to our channel. And see the little bell symbol over on the right hand side here. If you hit that, that's going to give you a notification every time we upload new content. My name is Paul Adams from Southeast, and thanks very much for listening.